mean, at some point the weeds just don't matter. As long as you've done a well enough weeding in season, mid season, and the small weed count doesn't really matter. The main thing is you're gonna have some harvestable onion. And this stuff is worth money, believe me. And these are from sets, which makes it even better because there's very little labor involved with uh, set production. Just plant it and forget about it, keep it weeded. These have never been watered all season. We've had some substantial rainfalls, but nothing significant, I would say. No torrential downpours. So it's basically a fire and forget crop. quite a carload of onions did that basically two people I would say not even three hours so that's a pretty good harvest to get done in that amount of time so right now we're just going to take these home to the uh, urban site and get them into some uh, curing conditions where they can dry properly yeah I mean this is one of my uh, grow tables right now it's not being used in the summertime because it's actually up the uh, garage too much so basically we're going to use this as a table where we can lay out some onions we're going to need more room than this but this will get us started at any rate you can still see the tops are fairly moist so having them indoors like this is going to be good we're going to cure back they're going to dry and form a uh, sort of like a drier skin that takes a couple of weeks a good idea to use a fan if you have one or buy one if they're cheap enough and this one gets a better airflow over the onions. So you can see the fan actually does uh, increase the airflow quite a bit here. That's a good thing. I'd say this table's getting close to being fully used up so we're going to have to look for some other spaces here where we can lay out the onions see here here's another type of place where you can cure your onions this is a uh, shed not really a greenhouse and this is a kind of good cover to have uh, you don't get direct sunlight onto the onions which can kind of uh, damage them a little bit so this is this is actually a pretty good setup here. So we're going to try to find some more room in here to put the rest of those onions that we just harvested. One of the best uh, places probably in the whole shop area here. There's still lots of room, but this is actually a very good place. As you can see, there's a compressor which turns on periodically, so I'm going to place as much of the onions here as I can. I've got a fan here. It sucks out a lot of moisture, which is another feature of the, uh, this type of setup. Airflow, removing heat from the building. Compressor turning on periodically. This fan stays on all the time. That's actually actually to cool off the uh, compressor. So with this kind of setup, uh, the first time I've tried doing it in the uh, garage like this. The nice thing is you don't have to worry about rain. You've got a controlled environment. So I'm hoping that this is going to work out very well.